Welcome back to the Bulldog Insider. Time for Coach's Corner, brought to you by Midland Tractor. We're here with Coach Tedford. Coach, what's that feeling like, seeing the players celebrate their first win of the season? It's great. I mean, that's why we work so hard. And uh, we know we didn't play a great game. You know, there's a lot to improve on. Uh, but to get a W is always hard. And, um, and so to see them happy in the locker room after the game and celebrate, and that's, that's one of the best things to see for sure. Sac State is not your average FCS team. What did the Hornets do so well last night and even just throughout the course of the season? What have you seen from them on video to make them so good? They do everything good. I mean, their defense, they bring a pretty exotic package at you. Um, going into the game, they gave up 1.7 yards per rush. Um, they blitz, they have a great blitz package. You know, it's, uh, and they play really, really hard. They're really well coached. and. Uh, do a nice job on offense, just spreading the ball around, give you a lot of different looks. And uh, so they're a quality team. Uh, I think they're going to go a long way this year. And, uh, you know, hats off to, to their coaching staff and, and their players because they do a really nice job. Coach, I saw you after the game going up to a lot of Sac State players, a lot of Valley guys on that team. How excited do you think they were to not only face you guys, but also play in Bulldog Stadium? I don't know. I mean, I, I assume, you know, if they have family here to come back and play in front of their family is probably always exciting. And, uh, but good group of guys, um, you know, classic guys, played the game really clean and hard. And uh, so I have a lot of respect for that program. Jorge Reina passed for 312 yards last night, two touchdowns, no turnovers. How pleased were you with that? Yeah, that's always key, you know, to, to not turn the football over. Um, you know, against a pretty extensive blitz package and had some pressure on him. Uh, so he made good decisions, um, you know, and a lot of times he's got to get rid of the ball um, before they get to him. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I thought he played pretty solid, you know, for the most part. You know, we had some drop balls. We probably had four or five drop balls last night that uh, could have went a little bit differently, but uh, I thought he did a good job. Big game from Josh Hokett, three touchdowns scored. He runs with such force. What do you see when the ball is in his hands? Well, exactly that. You know, he runs with good pad level. He's a big back. Uh, he's 230 pounds. And so, um, but the key is getting your pads down. And they had a lot of guys up in the box. And so you're one-on-one -on -one with the safety sometimes. And to be able to run through tackles is a big thing. And uh, we really needed it at the end when we need to control the clock and we needed to pound and, and convert some, some third downs. And uh, he did a nice job of that. Your other running back, Ronnie Rivers, uncharacteristically didn't hold on to the football a couple of times last night. Any concern there? Well, yeah, that's always a concern. Um, it was mainly in, in piles where he was he was stood up inside a pile and got it ripped out, you know. So, um, yeah, we'll work on that. I mean, that's that's unusual for him and uncharacteristic of him. And so, uh, you know, we'll concentrate on it. You mentioned a few minutes ago about some drop balls in the game, but nine different receivers caught a pass. Carrick Wheatfall had some big plays. When did you know that he would be a full go in this game? Well, he's been out for a couple weeks. Um, he was, we thought he may get a little uh, little run in Minnesota, but it was too early to bring him back. Uh, but the bye week helped him, and really through the week of practice, we saw that he, you know, he didn't have any ill effects from a sprained ankle, and so it's nice to have him back in the plan. Your defense allowed Sac State to rush for just 12 yards. What worked so well in that area? Well, I think the line of scrimmage, D-line did a nice job. Linebackers ran to the ran to the ball well. Um, you know, but I, I think any, you know, any time that happens, the key is to make sure that you're winning the line of scrimmage. And uh, I think our D-line did a good job with that. On the flip side, though, that quarterback, Thompson, it seemed like he had all day to throw. He passed for 233 yards and a few touchdowns. What did Sac State's line do to protect him and kind of keep the pressure off? Well, a lot of that was we're in a three-man rush and or we're dropping eight or you know we're in coverage um, when we blitzed I thought we were successful with our blitz but uh, we played a lot of coverage and uh, you know but he's a good quarterback he he has good vision he's got a strong arm um, you know so he's been very impressive throughout the year I mean they scored 77 points one game they scored 50 points another game so he's a quality quarterback you touched upon this after the game last night, Coach. Cesar Silva misses three field goals. You bring in Asa Fuller for an extra point attempt. That goes off the upright. What do you do about your kicking situation? Uh, we'll evaluate it this week. Um, you know, I really think it was just one of those nights for Cesar that, 
didn't go his way. Uh, he's a good kicker, and we got to keep, keep his confidence up. And so we'll go back to work and, and you know figure out the fundamentals and and um, you know why that happened, and then you know let him work on it through the week. All right, he's Coach Ted for time for a quick break. More with Coach when we come back.